Welcome to Face to Face. This is a show about change and about what's next. It's a show that wants to ask questions, peel back the layers of our average everyday experience, and go beyond scratching the surface. We interview amazing people with incredible ideas and stories who have done wild, weird, and wonderful things. Remember that imagination shared create collaboration, and collaboration creates community, and community inspires social change. I'm David Peck, and this is Face to Face. So my interview today is with Sophie Durasp, and I am so thrilled to have been able to get a, an opportunity to have a conversation with her. This is way post-TIFF. This is a film that came out of TIFF and just uh, celebrated as one of Canada's top ten films this year, but also going to be uh, Canada's international feature entry for, for the Oscars as well, Antigone. It's a retelling, uh, of course, of an ancient play and you're going to want to uh, see this film uh, you really are it's it's a beautiful film it's it's tragic it's um, it's about family it's about community it's about um, stepping into some issues that that really do concern us all and I mean I think ultimately as Sophie and I talk about I really I, I, I felt that this was just a beautiful love story is what it came down to. And yet, uh, you know, as any great film will will show you, will tell you as it draws you in, this is, uh, it's a film about racism and power and, and, and loyalty and, and immigration. This is about, um, it's about dignity. It's about choices and responsibility and all those things. It's about a young woman who follows her heart and who steps into, um, um, the unknown in in a, in a very specific way. Um, you know, this is a film, you know, Sophie and I get into having a conversation about empathy and how important that is and how that um, uh, empathy is rooted in community and obviously it's rooted in listening and, and, and being able to see and hear others in a very particular and, and unique and, and compassionate way. So, so uh, yeah, trust your heart, I think Sophie would say. Um, and uh, Well, I know she would say that. And uh, I really enjoyed the interview and I so wish her well with this film. And again, I hope everyone sees it. So make sure you do your best to get out and see it. It is at the theaters or in the theaters. And it will be uh, on demand uh, in the new year. And my guess is it's going to be uh, going to a wider release as well. So check it out for sure. Coming right up, uh, an interview with uh, Sophie Durasp and her new film, uh, Antigone. Uh, what else can I tell you? DavidPeckLive.com. Don't forget uh, my writing, my re- uh, my, my uh, speaking. You can find out more there. You can order a copy of Real Changes Incremental. And don't forget FaceToFaceLive.ca. Um, sign up for it, uh, the newsletter. Share it with your friends. Get, get us out on social. Uh, we would really appreciate that. Um, we are getting out into the real world uh, digitally. If you'd like to advertise with us, you can do that. Uh, we've got a, we've got an email database now that's growing. We've got hundreds of thousands of unique uh, visitors to our website every month. And, and we're listened to in about 19 countries. So if you're interested in advertising with us, please uh, reach out. We uh, have a, a hope for a few uh, significant advertisers in 2020. We're going to cross 500 interviews. I'd like to also get 100 iTunes reviews. So if you have the time, I would really appreciate you taking a few minutes to leave us a review on iTunes and um yeah that's about it face to face let's uh, let's get word on the street it's uh and oh and we're going live this year we're going to be in in, in conversation on stage Oakville Center for Performing Arts uh first talk uh, booked right now is April 2nd 2020 with Emma Hansen uh talking about her new book uh, live in front of an audience uh, called Still and uh, from Greystone Books. And there you go. That is about it for now. Don't forget rabble.ca. You can find out more about uh, other writers, thinkers, bloggers, podcasters there who are um, getting into it in a big and important way, rolling their sleeves up. News for the rest of us. That's rabble.ca. Coming right up, uh, Antigone and a wonderful, fun, interesting, and thoughtful conversation with Sophie Durasp, the director of Antigone. Stay tuned. Well, welcome to Face to Face. We're joined by a very special guest uh, here with us 
today, and it's always so weird when I say here with us today. You are here with us today, Sophie, but you're somewhere in Toronto. We're connected through phone. Couldn't get face-to-face, partially because of weather, partially because of booking. But uh, Sophie Duasp is here to talk about her new film, Antigone. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sophie. I really appreciate it. Wow. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's it's funny, you know, uh, I, and, and my listeners will roll their eyes and maybe smile, but uh, my podcast, uh, as you now know, is called Face to Face. And sadly, <laughs> so often, I'm not actually face to face with... Uh, uh, with my guests. I missed you at the festival this year. So Toronto International Film Festival. Um, do tell us a little bit about that and, and, and winning an award there, stepping into Oscar territory by the sounds of it. Um, but before we do any of that, I just want to say congratulations on the film. What a beautiful, stunning and, and tragic story that I mean, I just hope everyone gets to see this film. Oh, thank you. Well, yes, when I arrived in Toronto, um, the the festival had started already. I was like, a, in, it was in day three, I think, and and we had a press and industry screening already if, uh, day one, and and I felt like there was a buzz, like people were talking about the film. They were stopping me in the uh, hotel lobbies, and and so yes, it started uh, in a very uh, good way in Toronto. So I'm glad to be back here today. Uh, like talking about the the, the release, uh, the theatrical release of the film, and the release is coming up soon. And then you're heading to Whistler, and and I would imagine, you know, in a way that you know the film has been seen by many, but in a way, would you say you're kind of gearing up for uh, what's about to come? Uh, you mean the Oscar? <laughs> yes, yeah, the Oscars. Are... Yeah, just the, the 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 awareness around the film and the press and so on and and different screenings throughout the country. Are, are, uh, I would imagine you're quite excited about that. But 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 do do, do, you, yes. do you do you feel like there's something starting? Well, actually, um, well, it started uh, at TIFF and yes. then. Uh, and then the, uh, the 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 nomination as the Canadian entry for the Oscars, and and, and then we traveled a lot with the film in in South Korea, in Italy, in in Mexico, like uh, in in different countries. Um, so, and and the film. So we've met so, uh, many audiences so far. That's so I I could uh, like. Uh, it was amazing to see how, like, uh, even if people have to read subtitles, they really connect with the story, with the, with the character, with the actress who uh, uh, plays Antigone, and with the story. It's a, it's a universal story. It's about love. It's about family. It's about solidarity and dignity. So, so, so. Yeah, I, I I see how people connect and, and in a very emotional way. So I, I'm I'm glad of what's happening. Did you you know, Sophie? It's 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 so, it's so many things. I mean, I love the fact that the first thing you said. I think the first thing you said is it's a love story, and and I was really I was really struck by you know Antigone's line near the end of the film she's being questioned i i can't remember exactly who who it, uh who who's questioning her maybe one of the lawyers one of her psychiatrists or something and somebody says ask her kind of why 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 so why the pushback why why do, have you gone so far why are you so so committed to your brother and and she said i love him that's all and uh-huh. i just i just thought Wow, that's the film. That is the story. You know, it is about it's about immigration. It's about how we treat others and community and dignity and all these other things. But I just thought, wow, that's it. Antigone, this is a love story. Yes, absolutely. So she she's willing to sacrifice herself, her her own future, her like a so-called happiness uh in order to follow uh her heart and like the love that she has for uh for her brother but but in a broader sense also for for like others right for 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 others the so the for for you as a filmmaker was that important the the, the message of uh the, the, this isn't just about family this extends out into community uh, as well yes i i consider like um uh, well to me like filmmaking is a lot about um of course, the skills and the acting and all that, the photography, but it, it's it's so deeply, it's about empathy. Mm. And so I, I wrote a story like a, in 
so we can empathize with a, a tragedy that a, a family has to go through and 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 the sacrifice of a young woman intelligent strong and and with like um uh, which is able to uh to go against the authority that go against the police the judge the 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 penitentiary like in order to follow what is like her own laws like what that are stronger in her sense stronger than the written laws of men so uh uh yes it's it's something about uh community and solidarity so if she does it at first for her brother for her family then we get to to feel that her sense of justice is uh, wider than that like once she is uh, with other uh, uh young women in a uh, like juvenile uh, mm-hmm. care ward mm-hmm. like uh, she she also connects with the other because she empathizes and and uh i feel that like in with film like we we cry we 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 are frightened we we go to adventures and we just step on the foot of another character uh other situations and 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 i feel like it's it's such a it it, it is a way to yeah to speak about immigration or uh, tr- uh tragic um like uh, situations of uh, other people, but but in, in not in a way like we read in the paper or read statistics, and but really step in their foot. It's to step into somebody else's path to to kind of understand. Yes. I I love what you say about empathy. So do you th- do would you say storytelling is about creating empathy? Would you say uh, friendships and family are about cre- creating empathy? Is that or or is it more specific than, than than that for you? I think Roger Ebert said that you know filmmaking was about what did he call it? He called it an empathy making machine. I believe this idea. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I really agree with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> isn't it great? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> That's right. Steal that one. <laughs> Steal that one, Sophie. Yeah. So, so, yes. so, so is, is, is that, though, the purpose kind of, 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 hmm, of stronger? Isn't that love, I guess? Isn't it the purpose of stronger relationships? I mean, I see that come out in, in so many wells, and yet in the, in the film, and yet in, 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 our, in our lives, the day-to-day lives as well, you know, the, the, that beautiful moment, how, how the film ends and, uh, the sort of the Antigone to family, family to family, in in the airport hallway. I mean, it's just it's so stunning. I'm 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 hopefully stirring up, uh, hopefully stirring up enough interest in our listeners too to to want to get out and see the film. But there's just so many powerful moments of of connection uh, with 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 others. How did you draw at all from your own? I mean, how can you not draw from your own experience as a filmmaker? But can you talk about that a little bit? Well, uh, I well first, um, I read Antigone when I was in my early twenties, and like people don't have to know about Sophocles or other adaptations, like theatrical adaptations of Antigone, in order to step in the film and 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 follow the story. But but of course, like I wanted to keep the link with. Uh, I kept the names of the ancient Greek right, uh, family, right. and 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 so because like there's something that when I first read Antigone, it to me it was such a revelation. Like having this young character who is like so strong and 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 she's intelligent and and she she is she stays true to herself right. even if uh, it, it has to like it means a sacrifice of her life in, in the play um and but but it felt like even if it's tragic to me it was so uplifting because 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 she stands up and 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 uh, there aren't that many female character and especially young characters so strong in art history and literature and and so it felt so good and 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 I was just elevated by Antigone uh it spoke to the young woman I was who uh, like there's a system above us and and there are many injustices and and it's not always fair it's not always uh like um the the system that we 
would want to rule us and and so uh so that's what like uh I was really like uplifted by by this reading and 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 so at the time I didn't know I would make films but but I I kind of knew I would have to do uh, like something related to art and I would go back to that material that was so strong and and that I hadn't seen that often uh uh, even if I was reading a lot at that time, I was a, li- uh, a literature student. Um, did you, and, did, and did then, Sophie? Did you know then? Yeah. Did you know then? Did you have a sense then that that you were going to make a film about this someday? That this was going to be bigger than just you know a personal sort of triumph or a personal uh, piece of your story and and the puzzle that is yes, your life. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yes, I felt I would go back to it and mm. and and I would do it in a contemporary way because the film has like a, it, it's a film. It's not, uh, it, and I, I really it's the language of uh, filmmaking and editing, and so it's not a play anymore. But and and it's very contemporary as well. So, uh, but it, what happened like like the inspiration um, came like very suddenly. I wasn't expecting this, but but I was uh, just like watching some YouTubes about an affair, like a tragedy that happened in Montreal in 2008. Um, it's a, a young man, uh, 14 years old. He was uh, gunned down by the police in the Montreal park. And and not long after, his older brother, who was uh, present on the scene, uh, was threatened of deportation because he had some issue with, uh, with justice. And, and then I just... I was reading about like um, this family who immigrated as refugees uh, in Canada. Uh, they they already were from like uh, they had to um, to flee a, a tragedy, and in order like to find a new place where to stay. And even then, like like tra- a tragedy hits again, and and I I just step in the, um, in the, I, I just imagine like. Uh, what if a sister was an Antigone? What mm. would she do for the brother that is left? And and also like I was uh, reading online like commentaries like that were very, some of them were very cruel and racist and and so it, it, and it, it it was coming from like people of my like my own country and and I felt like okay like uh, I wanted again to take the side of empathy towards the family who is going through such a tragedy. And so so the Antigone came to me right then and and I I just like uh it was very quick like how I would like use the uh the ancient Greek chorus uh as a social media in mm. our like contemporary mm. time and space and and so like having like the people commenting and with with music and dancing and 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 words like uh, commenting the action if even if they are not part of the action just like the the ancient greek chorus did uh i and also like having the characters like um the oracle like um uh, theresias in in the ancient greek play like having her as a um a blind psychiatrist and and so it was it it became very very clear to me how to put it in a modern uh, setting and and the and the core of the character like Antigone she's still so relevant and and even like when, when there are so many Antigones like mm. uh, living today uh, so many people who feel like they have to 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 step in order to like uh, to uh, to change the world because they're like a, I don't know, like I'm going to speak about like, let's say climate change. Like we all like personally feel like we should do something, but, but, but nothing is done. We're always worse. Like as, as a state, as a government or as a, a system above us, like even if individual, like they want, they feel like uh, we should be doing something the, the system doesn't change, and so Antigone is the one like willing to sacrifice herself in order to let let the world know like what what she feels is uh, the the right path. 
You know, it's so, uh, thank you. I mean, as I was listening to you, <laughs> that was a long. <laughs> no, that's that's so funny. I I interviewed somebody uh, recently, uh, an author, and I asked her one question, and I think her answer was about nine and a half <laughs> minutes long. And I said to her, Liz was her name. I said, Liz, I don't think we're going to have any trouble at all filling a thirty or forty minute interview here today. And just she just <laughs> thought that was hilarious. Um, no, listen, that's exactly the kind of stuff that 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 my listeners want to hear. That I want to hear the. The, 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 and, and, and you know what's so beautiful about conversation I think conversation also if we're willing to listen you know which is I think part of your story I think that is part of Antigone's problem in a sense or part of our culture's problem that maybe we aren't listening you know to the others to those who are in our not only our immediate communities and our families but but that are around us and, and, and in, our, in our you know cities and our towns and our in our provinces and states and so on it's it is about listening uh, to others but as as i was listening to you i just thought isn't this the reason we watch film i have uh, isn't this the reason why we tell stories right to to try yeah. to get to that to try to get to that place that says this is what it might be like for someone else and isn't that enough reason to care and, and yes, and you know, like, uh, um, like w when uh, I realized at one point, I wouldn't know that much about uh, Second World War if it mm. wasn't of films, like uh, only from like uh, history books. Like, uh, no, I, I wouldn't feel like uh, uh, what happened in the um, in the camps or like uh, what happened to such a like a uh, these are tragedies that happen to people and. And and that like that would be so like um, cold just mm, right. by uh, reading uh, a few lines in a book. Yeah, word, word, words on a page, and and yet you know, yeah. that, and yet yeah, and that and and that in itself can 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 connect as well. But isn't isn't film just does, doesn't it take us to another place? You you said something. You you you're, one of the phrases you used. Um, you said take you took the side of empathy. Why do you think that you know Antigone does that? Why do you think that you know even in the in the context of her family, it seems like maybe uh, her brothers at a certain point they they start to not push her away, but they're very focused on themselves in a sense. What is it about her, and and how how do you get there? Because I love what you said about change and about changing the world, and I love how you brought in climate change. That's kind of what my podcast is has been about for five or six years, and that is you know having conversations with people like yourselves who are creating art, writing books, doing things to kind of turn the world upside down in one way or another. Uh, well, I feel like to speak about Antigone's family in the film, like uh, it, it's like. Uh, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to feel the love among the family, mm. uh, but like there's something like her siblings don't have the same strength. Like, uh, mm -hmm. and and we cannot ask of everybody in the world to be that strong. Like Antigone is is a is a hero, right. Um, right. Uh, and like and it's it's also quite. Um, relevant like uh, for her sister wanting a normal life and 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 she she does not want to to sacrifice herself or the the possible happiness the, the and and simple happiness just the fact of owning her own house having a family and that's that's quite uh, i mean who will like uh, she, she's not asking you know, like to to go around the world to be a star or whatever like she's just asking for a normal life and 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 that is uh, I, I I think it's it's all it she is more like most of us and but Antigone uh, um, I feel she is uh, supported by she's connected to something. Uh, like uh, in in one scene, she talks about the dead. Mm. She's connected to the one that were uh, here before her, like her parents, uh, her that, dead and, brother. And that comes up in the in the uh, the French poetry as well. Yes, yes, true. Yeah. Uh, so so she she's not acting. 
uh, as if she was alone or she or for like her own future her own ap- happiness like she's uh, she's uh, supported by um, well she's connected to a, a, a broader sense of love and community do you think that she's so independent that that almost is that was there ever a time uh, when you thought of this idea of the 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 pure act of selfless love and you know the the campaign that develops around her about trusting your heart and it's you know for me I've I've studied philosophy for years and for me I continue to say to my friends and my family my biggest challenge is bridging my head and my heart you know getting out of that mm-hmm. that rational side and this is the right thing to do but why is it the right thing to do and can we talk more about that and you know what well, what, what does that mean for me as a person you know and as a dad and as a, as a, as a husband and as as a friend to 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 others and and sometimes it's really hard right it's it's just it's yes. it's it's, it's yeah. complicated and 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 so i just wonder you know uh, at the end of the film when christian says to allow you know basically he says let us help you right it's our, yes, our and- it's our turn to reach out to you now look what you've been doing for everyone else can we can we help you yes and and actually he wants to do good to her by um helping her choose the the side of her own future like right. a, exactly a, a, yeah he wants to yeah he's very generous but but she cannot accept mm. that would mean like choosing myself would mean just uh forget about like uh the fact that uh my my brother is going to be uh um uh deported and 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 that my parents have been through like such a um well i mean it's but you're right it's and it's why we still bring back uh, the ancient greek plays and why we still we are still bringing back shakespeare and like because they 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 address this dilemma like like what do we follow like the state the rules or our heart uh, do we uh, stick to our family or we feel it's not like what we have to do and and we have to follow like more of an individual path um, family is not always healthy like uh, and and we see it in, in in Antigone as well like her brothers are not like uh, perfect but at the same time she knows they are also they were they they, they are um they are they are who they are because of what they have been through right, and right. and where they grew up and and it's not only a matter of uh, of uh, like being bad or being a criminal or 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 maybe also like a criminal or like a petty crimes for a few years in a life which happens to so many people like like being uh, like i don't know like doing uh 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 wrongs and like uh but but it doesn't mean that the, the person itself is bad of That's course right. you have to uh, yeah and she is able to consider the big picture well this of is all what this. this is what i love about her line near the end of the film i i, I love him period That's all. period like yes. there's nothing mm-hmm. there's nothing else i'm not there's no condition uh, this is he's he's my family he's my brother or they're my brothers this is my family and this is what we there's that that other scene too in in in, in the car when she basically says we need to we we essentially the message is we need to move on we need i think she she actually says we must save Polynesia now yes yeah that's that's behind yeah. it's all it's all about the future it's all about what's next and and responsibility and 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 here she is making all these choices and yet you know, having her choice restricted at the same time. It's, it's, it's deeply ironic. Yeah. And, but that's why it's, it's a tragedy. But at the end, I wanted, um, I, I, I want the audience to get out of the film with mm. yet uh, uh, um, something positive. Uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's tragic, but at the same time, it feels like, um, uh, it's amazing, like to have this model of a young woman uh, um, being like a. It's a model of dignity, of resistance, and mm. and uh, 
and uh, yeah. No, it's so, good. I love, I love the, I love the two. A model of dignity and resistance. That's that's quite beautiful. What? Tell, hey, tell me about her, her, and maybe your too personal commitment. But she's so committed to the truth that mm-hmm. that it, it almost it almost gets in the way if that makes any sense at all in the way of uh, you mean as a um, uh the, the the character itself in well the, yeah the way um, of her future yeah or? almost in the way of her future and i i and and listen i th- i think the way you've portrayed her and by the way her performance uh is it nahima ricci is that her name is that how yes. you pronounce? Yeah, just stunning, yeah, like beautiful, that. stunning performance. I just, you, you, you. I mean, obviously, clearly a, a nod to her talent and your ability to draw strong, powerful performances out of everyone, really, in the film. But um, um, her, her, her expressions and her moments. So there's a deep wisdom there, I thought. But then at certain points, I just, I, I didn't smile or laugh, but I just went, oh, maybe now's not the time to say that <laughs> maybe maybe you could have saved that one for a little maybe not inside of the courtroom you know um and yeah. yet and yet um yeah so so i'm hey listen i'm all for the truth and and pushing back against power and i love this dignity with resistance but but you know truth telling to power is just is yeah. so powerful coming from this young woman Yes, yeah, Naima Richie is amazing, and like uh, when I was uh, writing the script, and well, I in a way I I was writing blind, like mm. like not knowing if I would find the 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 young woman who would be mm. able to mm. to support all this, and I I feel like I was blessed by the the goddesses and the gods of this world, like. Like the, I, perhaps, I the Greek, her, the Greek like, gods, the Greek gods. Yes, oh, all yeah. of them. <laughs> of all, of, all of the gods. Yes. If you allow me. <laughs> That's right. No, no, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and the goddesses. I That's say. right. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and um, yes, because because uh, I found uh, I met via an open casting where she applied that like this like young woman who has such a deep soul and and she she was. Um, so committed to art also like mm. uh willing to embrace the character that she knew of because of uh, like uh, she had read it and played a few scenes in high school but but she she was um i don't know she she is antigone and uh and 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 she is also as as a person like naima ritchie uh, she's also always looking for the truth inside her or like to commit in a in a like a in a manner that she feels is the right one or like she's always questioning the world and and uh and so and she has also this she's this charisma that the the camera loved i mean like um i couldn't find a a better actress Mm. and and i'm so glad of uh, of the work she did the work we did together yeah, no, it's a it's a beautiful again a beautiful film and a beautiful story and I, I just again I love the the nod as well to to what a brilliant uh, um, collaborative art form filmmaking uh, really is from from you know all aspects of it the storytelling the writing the music and and you really use music powerfully in this film too a lot I lose yeah, a lot of music you sure do yeah I love that you know too the opening of the film with the, the establishing shot of her on the white and this is you know she's clearly being I guess photographed and questioned and and this is about this woman I guess in prison of to to a particular yes. sort and yet it's about her pushing out and pushing back and 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 I really have to say I'm so glad you left in that that opening family scene uh, around the the dinner and the prayer and 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 her la- I think her last line was keep keep and keep us united mm-hmm. and and yes. isn't isn't that kind of one of the overarching themes of not only Antigone but the film the film the film itself and and isn't isn't that the hopeful to some degree Sophie isn't that to some degree the hopeful part of this story in the film. Uh, you mean? Uh, sorry, you said the whole. The 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 the, the hope of the film. Oh, the hope. Yeah, it, it, this idea of it, it, are we all crazy to think that maybe we can be united uh, in the future? Mm, yes, as a community, as yeah. a family, in a broader sense. Yeah, in the broader uh, yeah. sense, you know, you you know, I'm I'm I would. 
I would love to have been at some of the Q and A's at the film and so on, and I would imagine uh, that they were wonderful and and thoughtful and engaging. Yeah. But I I wondered if there would be you know any critics who would who would watch a film like this and say, oh yeah, this is just this is a little too hopeful. There's no way there, we 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 can't get here. This isn't about peace and prosperity and being united. Oh, um, I. Well, as I said, the film is a tragedy. So <laughs> for right. some people, like that's, that's how right. it, why it hurts so yep. much because there, there's hope and there's uh, love and and at the same time, but but I feel even if because uh, I don't want to reveal too much of the end, but in a way it feels that it's not hope and love and who wins over like uh, Antigone and her family, but. At the same time, she left something so strong to us, just like Sophocles and and left to us. Like it's not. It feels like. Um, uh, but and, and you've studied uh, philosophy. Maybe you're you're better than me talking about catharsis. Mm. But isn't it the, the this the kind of catharsis? Like even if it's if it's sad, if it if it gets very uh, emotional, at the same time we feel uplifted there's something uh, uh, a seed that is planted in us that makes us greater in a way yeah absolutely yeah i think well and i think that's i think that's what's beautiful i hope uh, about uh, about a tragedy as well i mean it's tra tragically beautiful really in a sense and mm -hmm. because of that seed that's planted and i think there's something about great art and great film and great storytelling um, people that we meet moments experiences they sit with us and hopefully down the road, this is this is a part of that again. Argument for watching movies, <laughs> always looking, yeah. always and, looking for a reason to watch time, more movies. Yeah, yeah. And we're talking about like uh, philosophy and uh, moral duties, mm. and, but 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 it's also uh, it's it's just a, it, it's very uh, entertainment as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like we mm -hmm. follow a story, and and uh, we're not get. It's not the. We're not going to the movies to get like a lecture, like about life, or and and we don't have to know Antigone prior to watch the movie, or but it happens, like no matter what, <laughs> like like there's the like you watch like a uh, you, or you listen to a, a story, a tale, and a lot of music uh, and action and love and all that that you get into, and but but. Uh, against yourself or against your will, there's something greater that is happening, and that w that hopefully mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. stay with the audience uh, long after having uh, finished the film. Well, you know what? I I, I hate to do this, but I I, I think we, we 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 need to sort of wrap up in in a minute or two. But that's 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 really a beautiful sort of segue into this idea of. Um, uh, you know this idea of something greater. It's a beautiful segue into kind of wrapping wrapping up the conversation. Tell 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 us though though. Um, so so t one question I have to ask you on the side of the bus, were you guys having a little bit of fun? Because I, I, I as the bus went by, was there was there a little <laughs> was there a little Greek nod there to another Sophocles play? Is that did I see that right? Yes. Okay. Of, good. Uh, and Oedipus. <laughs> That's right. Good. <laughs> Where we 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 we. Uh, <laughs> We planted a few of these uh, yes. in the film, like just like a, uh, a quick, uh, <laughs> just uh, to have. Uh, it, it was yeah, we have we had fun also. Like, oh, I bet. It's a yeah. film also about like a, um, about uh, like um, like uh, like small like uh, subliminal messages mm. we can put mm -hmm. here and there, and 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 we had fun also because it's a lot about street art and graffiti yes. and and music and and so that's why like i also um and and it's very a lot of uh, youth and solidarity and and so all those um uh uh so i uh, yeah so there are like a very like a there are funny moments also oh, there's a, and there's a the other yeah. the other moment for me that was was lovely was uh, uh her her boyfriend him Heyman? Um, he meant, yes. yeah. Um, he's the the Molinari reference. Yeah, I did one for my dad, and he hung it over the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. That was really mm -hmm. oh, that was pretty cheeky. I love it. Um, so so so, just uh, tell tell us a little bit about what's next, and uh, you know, Oscar contender. 
Um, uh, tell, tell us a little bit more about how that feels. And I hear you're heading to Whistler soon, and, and, and then we'll just we'll wrap things up in our conversation. Yes. Well, yes, it's like uh, I've done other films before and been to festivals around the world and won awards, but the Oscar is something quite new <laughs> to me and exciting uh, uh, and, and a lot of work, too. Uh, it's uh, it's mythical, so mm. that's why like I, I feel like, a, and also I feel like as, as if I was an athlete, I feel like there's a country like uh, like supporting the film and right. wanting the film to to make its way um, to the uh, Oscar ceremony at the end, and and so I feel some pressure, but at the same time I'm so grateful to do it, and with with that film especially with the, his, its uh, set of values and and, and the, the the performances of the actors and all that like a, and I, I feel like um, I, I was in Los Angeles last week for a week and promoting the film and showing it to academy uh, members and and I feel like a, the connection is there like um, it, it's universal it's universal and, nice Yes, and and so that we don't have the same means than some other countries or or films that are, that have uh, like huge distribution. But but I hope the film connects to to the heart, uh, just that, like the way it was done and and then what it it, it says and it and, and so so I I I saw it happening. So I'm doing my way like this with the film, like uh, uh, wanting to win the hearts of the Academy members, and uh, and so yes, and I'm going to uh, to uh, have like the the Canadian release December six. So uh, so it's also about like showing it to like um, in, to our people in our country. It 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 is also like very like it has some very contemporary issues about immigration and 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 so the in in the u.s they felt like it was important issues as well like uh absolutely what, yeah like, um so well maybe maybe oh so, yes I, i'm in a very good moment now yeah. the film is uh, that's that's so yeah. good must have been a little intimidating uh you know what did you say winning over the hearts and minds of the academy um, but maybe, maybe after all, Antigone is right. Maybe keeping us united is something uh, you know that's 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 doable. And I love the fact that one of the things you took away is that people felt like there were universal themes there because there absolutely is. There's this is about racism and and about the other and about community and listening and social media and all these things. And I so love that you've told it so beautifully through a Canadian lens and 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 through a. A Greek, uh, a, a, a Greek lens as well, I guess. In a yes, sense, in a in a in a big sense. Well, what a, what a delight chatting with you today. Uh, thank you so much, Sophie, for for taking the time to to chat with me. I wish you all the success in the world. This is one of those films that that I that I do hope everyone gets to see. We we've been talking with uh, Sophie de Rasp t- today about her new film uh, Antigone. Um, Sophie, uh, I hope you enjoy Whistler, and thank you so oh, much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Bye bye.